Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a bluegill panfish fly and this is the Schmutzer Spider. This is a topwater fly designed by Don Schmutzer from South Carolina. I'm going to start out, I have sheet foam, I had sheet foam and I cut a little bit of a shape on the back here and this was sticky back foam and I took the paper off the back and I just took some acetone you can use regular alcohol put it on a rag and wipe that glue right off the back of it I'm going to use red thread and this is 70 denier 8 op the hook I'm using is a dropped shank hook and this is a size 12 I'm going to put a base of thread down from the eye and we're going to come back to up just about the point of the hook and stop it there to the point or the barb depends I'm going to go to the barb just a little bit around the bend there and we can get rid of the excess for the body, I'm going to use yellow ostrich hurl. Don, I believe, uses a crystal flash on the body. Nice thing about this is you can design it or modify it to the way you'd like. We're going to tie those in right there. And I'm going to bring my thread back up. And we're going to come to oh, about two eye lengths from the eye of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and throw a whip finish on there. And I'm going to use my bobbing cradle. I'm going to take the ostrich hurl and just hold that and turn the hook. Keep those wraps tight. Be careful of the point of the hook. You're going to get a nice, lively looking body when this is done. This ostrich hurl is very, very good stuff. Every one of those little barbels will be moving. It'll be like it's breathing. We're going to take this hurl all the way up to Just about two eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Dropped it. I'll just grab a hold of it again. There we go. And I'm going to tie that on. Tie that in. couple in front, couple in back, and that'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and clean up that front. So we have this about two-thirds of the body. I'm going to take a little bit of crazy glue and put it on the hook shank. Don't put too much because you don't want it touching those peacock or the ostrich hurl. I'm going to bring my keep my thread up close to the eye. I'm going to measure my body out. I want that about one and a half the length of the hook shank. And we're going to first tie it in right there at the eye of the hook. Just put a few wraps, that glue is going to hold it well. Okay, even a wrap or two in front there. Now I'm going to fold this over, and I want this top piece to be about 
one and a half the length of the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make a dart in the front. Just something like that will be fine. I'm going to bring my thread back to the body area right there where the body was and put that couple good wrap. Now we can take our glue once again and put a little bit of glue right on the bulb just a little bit. Don't want to use too much it tends to turn everything hard. Fold that over you can hold that there a couple of seconds or you could just go ahead and make a couple of wraps right there. There we go. And because this is a bluegill fly we can get creative. I'm going to take orange rubber legs and I'm going to fold it over the red and then I'm going to pull that into place and we want to put those legs basically right between the two pieces of foam just give them maybe two wraps other set of legs and place them right on this side right between the two layers of foam And now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to whip finish that right there. And I'm going to get rid of that thread. I'm going to take my glue one more time. I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to put a little bit of dot of glue on the back. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to take those back legs and I'm going to I'm going to take the leg on this side and fold it over to the opposite side and take the leg on this side the opposite side and fold it over to me. And we're going to glue that in. Now we can go and cut them to the length we want. And I need to cut these because they're not the same. I'm going to hold them together and trim just a little bit. I want them to be as, at least as long as the body. And the front ones, I'm going to hold them together and trim them. Now I'm going to take a red marker. I'm going to put a little couple dots on here. I'm going to make a couple eyes. I'm going to place them right on the side. We kind of want the fish to see this also. And we can take our marker and if you want the fish to see it, you could just put a couple of dots on the underside. Get something like that. And you could also put dots on the top or stripes, but the fish aren't going to see that, so that'll be that. Take our marker, and you can put a couple marks on the legs. And 
And here we have Smutcher Spider. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.